How do you say decadent as f***? When a viewer writes and asks if you'll make a certain recipe and then sends you the recipe to make, well, it'd be rude to ignore it, wouldn't it? French onion soup casserole. I think it's a thing. I think people make it. Keith wants me to make it. He said, do whatever you want to it. <laughs> well, my first inclination was to just throw the recipe out and go, I'm not going to do this. But it doesn't hurt to have a recipe idea from a viewer every so often. Does it, Max? Doesn't. Doesn't. I'm going to make a change. I cannot help myself. Who said that? I cannot tell a lie. George Washington. I cannot. Like he said, I cannot tell a lie. I cannot help myself. I'm going to add a layer of chicken to it. But crispy chicken. I think it's going to be really good. Here's our plan. We get the chicken crisping, air fryer. Super easy, should be delicious. We continue to caramelize our onions. I already started it, you don't need to see the whole thing. Chance even said, they don't need to see it, they've seen it a thousand times. And then we make a little sauce, we get the whole thing put together. We, well, we brown some uh, baguette slices in the oven and then it goes like this, 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 slams into the oven, cooks, comes out. We're eating like fat kids. Why are you inside? Oh, are you sorry. Thank you, little boy in the back. Welcome to what the inside of uh, my home and specifically my kitchen looks like. It's raining outside. Or it was, and in San Diego when it rains. We've actually had a lot. There was, I got one of those flood alert things on it. When your phone starts screaming, you know, lost child and or flood alert if you live in San Diego, which never happens. So we couldn't possibly shoot outside. So we're in here today. Max hates shooting inside, I but. I kind of like it. Oh, now he likes it. Well, you might see more of this. Okay, let's get the chicken going. I got a, a fun thing I'm gonna use on the outside of the chicken. And, and, then, and then, come on, let's just go. These are three, one, two, three, thin chicken cutlet things that I pounded even thinner. This will be our breading station. Flour and cornstarch, egg, and everybody's remarking, why are the eggshells blue? because they came from blue chickens, obviously. No, that's not true. But certain chickens give a certain color egg. This will beat. The flour cornstarch will season with a big pinch of our BFF. There's a whole lot of other flavor in the rest of this dish. We don't need to season that too much, but we will mix it. And in this one, here's the fun part. Normally I would use breadcrumbs. Normally I'd use panko breadcrumbs, but today I'm using Paxo. This came from the British shop. Do you remember the Heinz beans and sausage pizza we made? Well, while I was at that British store buying stuff, I saw this. And this is stuffing coating that will make 12 stuffing balls. Sage and onion, I thought it was perfect for a French onion casserole thing. Boy, Freddy, do we have more Paxo? Oh, let me look in the back, mate. Just like that. And if you smell it, sage and onion. That's fantastic. All right, let's get dredging. We start with our chicken. That should be obvious. As always, first into the flour, or in this case, flour cornstarch. Shake, shake, shake. Into the egg mixture. Dip, dip, dip. Flip, flip over. Make sure it's all wet, because they don't stick if it ain't wet. Shake the excess, and then into your Paxo, your breadcrumbs, whatever you're using. Nicely, we flip it over, a little extra. Press down, take it out, put on a baking sheet. Repeat with the other two. And last one down. Let me clean my hands, get rid of the bowls, and we go into the air fryer. Our pans have been sprayed. We put on our chicken. It gets a quick spray, and in it goes. One, two, we shut it. It gets five minutes at 380. We flip it over, we spray it, we put it back in, we give it another four-ish minutes till it's done and we take it out. In the meantime, we get happened with our baguettes and then the onions and everything else. And we're there. Ah. Out they come, looking pretty with that Paxo sage onion stuffing. Oi, Freddy, get the Paxo! I'm gonna set these aside and we'll carry on. These are my onions. This was two giant brown onions, about two and a half pounds. It's crazy. All that's been in here is olive oil and a little bit of butter. Now we're gonna add a little bit more butter. Always helps with the browning and these guys are on their way to being beautifully caramelized. We haven't seasoned this yet, so let's do that. A little of our BFF. This is on medium low, so just let it do its thing for, you know, another 10 minutes or so. Right now, we'll move on to the bread. And yes, French onion soup, you know, has that cheesy baguette component on top. So we're going to kind of mimic that. I'm going to cut this end here off and then cut these guys into a little half inch, whatever that is. What is that? Slice. Anybody? What, what size slice is that? I know it's a slice. <laughs> Max was helping me with my understanding of what this is called. Cut away. And we're good. 
Take these guys and throw them on here. This was just one basic everyday standard baguette. Tremendous, but I can't work dirty, so let me just wipe these crumbs. I'm not Lenny Bruce. Not that anybody in the audience knows who Lenny Bruce is. So, melted butter, little garlic powder. We mix, then we just hit the top of each of these with a little of the butter. We're only gonna do one side. And when they're all done, in they go to a 350 oven until crispy, about 10 minutes. It's onion time. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add some dried thyme to this, mix it in. And when it's mixed, and by the way, smelling frankly amazing, it gets a third of a cup of vermouth or white wine. We mix that in and wait for most of it to burn off. And when it looks like that, mostly gone, we gently fling in a third of a cup of flour and mix. Give this about a minute and a half or so. You don't wanna see any raw flour because if it's mixed in well and you don't see raw flour, you won't taste raw flour. At this point, we're gonna add three cups of beef broth about a cup at a time. Let this simmer away about five minutes. And then we're so close. Well, look what we've got here. We've got this amazing, gorgeously rich, beautifully smelling sauce that needs one thing. Yes, some parsley. Why not? Mix this in, now we can build. And the building looks like this. I'm gonna give this a little spray of olive oil and put in about half of our baguette slices. These you can arrange nicely. I mean, they're on the bottom. It's not that big a deal, but would it kill you? Here's what I'm doing. I got some slices of Swiss cheese like this. Just arrange these guys. Higgledy piggledy over the top. Now, remember this? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our big knife and we're gonna cut. I think when it comes time to eat, we'll be glad we've done this. And remember, viewer request, viewer recipe, you've never done this. If I'd followed the recipe exactly as he sent it, I'd probably be fine. But no, I have to mess with everything. Oh, this is working out lovely. And last. Oh, look, a little piece for me to have. In we go. Last ones. Now comes the sauce. Wow. How do you say decadent as fuck? Oh, this is such a heavy pan. Two more things. The rest of our baguette slices. And finally, shredded Gruyere cheese. Sprinkled lovingly over the top. Okay, I've been doubting this whole addition of the chicken until now. Now I'm super jazzed for it. There you go. This gets covered, goes into a 350 oven for about 25 minutes. We take it out, let the top get a little crispy by itself, and we're there. And after 25 minutes, there's that, but wait, there's that. <laughs> oh, hi pretty, but we're not there yet. Look at the bubbling. Oh, the smell. Keith, good job, buddy. Don't forget we got chicken in here we weren't expecting. All right, back in the oven. I'm actually gonna put under the broiler to speed this process up. Couple minutes, brown bubbly, we're out. And we're done. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at it, look at what Keith, Kevin, Kelly, Kristen, Connolly. That's not a name. Kimbo. Kimbo. Wait, if I get close with my mic. I look like I'm about to put my face in it. I'm not. I'm just letting you hear the bubbling. You're not getting a French onion facial? Wouldn't be a bad facial to have, actually. That's what she said. Hey, hey, did she really? And we're there. I just, just see what's happening here. Look at this. Let's try and get a bunch. And in case you're forgetting, there's chicken down here, man. Chicken. Look at there. <laughs> I want a bite. Watch, ready, ready. Look at that. Yeah, I'm telling you, without chicken, you're just eating cheesy bread, which is not a bad thing, but now it's become an actual meal. So I cut a little piece of the chicken, get a little bit of the baguette, chicken, baguette, some sauce, the onion, and hello. Mmm, mmm. Kevin, Casey, Keith, Connolly, what was the other one? Kimbo, amazing. Excellent suggestion. I hope I made Courtney. you proud. Courtney's not, oh yes, there are some with a K. Excellent suggestion. Clem. Clem, it got better with the chicken. It really did. It's now a proper meal rather than just a bunch of fat kid shit, which a fat kid stuff is not necessarily a bad thing, but now you feel proud serving this to anybody. Watch this move. Wait, don't move, stay there. Then you get a, a piece of the, of the baguette and you put the, oh shit. 
and then you put the chicken on top of it and then you get more of the onion business and you put that on top and this will be the bite that will take me home ladies and gentlemen thanks for being here with us if you haven't subscribed subscribe because you could win one of these sam the cooking guy seven inch nakiri my favorite knife just for being a subscriber every episode every video this year we'll mention somebody's name reach out to us at info the cooking guy.com we'll verify who you are we'll get one of these off to you you could be making this hey recipes below go get it go smash this recipe to hell